Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is nearly the end of the year um, and I wasn't actually going to do this but last minute decided to do it. Hence why I'm doing this video like really really late. It's nearly midnight. This video is basically like a New Year's party 31st night makeup look. Essentially I just really wanted to use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner or something glittery for the new year. Hope you guys are having an amazing holiday season. Hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. To those amazing souls that um, have commented on my videos in the past few weeks, I freaking love you guys. You made my day, you made my whole month and my whole year with your lovely comments. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. And that is basically my driving force for doing these videos. So this video is basically to you guys and anyone new who is watching, subscribe to my channel and follow my YouTube journey. Keep watching, I'll make sure that you guys have videos coming up that are exciting. I do have a few videos that I've planned that are a bit different. Um, obviously they're not all going to be makeup videos because mine's more of a mix. But I hope you like it because I put like 200% of my effort into these videos. So enjoy, have an amazing end of year and have an even greater new year 2018. Hope it is a year where all your dreams come true. Hope it's a year where you fall in love, a year that you find your passion, a year that is kind, humble and happy. Love you guys so so much and I'll see you in the next year. Okay so the first thing that I do after moisturizing is using my Fasali Unicorn Essence Primer and NARS Concealer in Biscuit. And I just apply it in the general areas that I always do. I find blending easier with my fingers so that's what I do with the concealer. Next I apply my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Syracuse and this is how I usually apply it. Obviously everyone has a different way of doing this. And then I use a beauty blender to blend everything in. Take my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original and just apply it to my eyelids because you want to make sure that eyeshadow lasts on your eyelids for a long time. I think I'm a true believer with the benefit for my eyebrows so I use my Cabral Benefit Eye Gel to shape my eyebrows. You just need to make sure that you follow the natural arch of your eyebrow and don't deviate too much from it. And don't forget the inner corners of your eyebrows as well. Do the same on the other side. And then I'm taking the Benefit 24 hour brow setter to just make sure that the hairs stay in place. Now it's time to do the eyeshadow so I'm going to bring it closer. For this look I'm using the Tartist Pro by Tarte. For the base, I'm using the color Bold and putting it all over my eyelid. Then taking the color Innocent, I'm going to use it to create some depth. I actually decided to put the color Whimsy on the lower eyelids, just so that I can create a different dimension for this look. And don't be afraid to put lots on the lower eyelid. Then taking this beautiful champagne color called Glam, I'm going to concentrate it on the inner corners of the eye and just a bit on the eyelid as well, but don't go towards the crease or the outer corner. And you can apply as much as you want because essentially what we're trying to achieve is a New Year's Glam look.
You can use any gel eyeliner for this. I'm using my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Ink Liner. I'm just outlining where I want my wings to go. Starting from the middle of the eyelid, I'm just slowly inching towards the outline that I've just drawn. And then just slowly build up on your wing as I'm doing right now. Notice that I'm not going towards the inner corner of the eye because I really wanted a dramatic cat eye. I also wanted my wings to look really sharp, which is why I'm making the lines straight. I then decided to use the color mod, which is sort of like a purpley color on the lower eyelids to complement the heavy metal eyeliner. Now for the star of the show, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner in the color Punk Rock. Just make sure your eyeliner is dry before you do this. And I put in lots of layers of it because the glitter in this is really small, but when it hits the light, it's pretty much like a disco ball. And that color really complements sort of brown skin, so I'm really happy that I picked it up. Your eye look is not complete without your mascara. So I'm using my L'Oreal Paris 4 Slash Superstar X Fiber and Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I found that using the primer part of the L'Oreal Paris Mascara and then going over with the Too Faced Mascara works so well together, which is what I'm showing you right here. And obviously you can go ahead with false eyelashes if you want to and if you're comfortable with it. Here I'm using the color mod again to reinforce the lower eyelids. Bring it out towards the wing. and then just blend the corners. And don't forget to apply mascara on the lower eyelids as well. One of my new favorites is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation and I'm using it to set my foundation. Then I use my Iconic London Pigment Stick in 3.2 and this I used to contour my face. What I normally like to do is go ahead with a brush at first and then use a beauty blender to blend everything in. I find with a beauty blender you can get rid of those harsh lines really well. Another favorite of mine is this Fenty Beauty highlighter in Hustler Baby. And I'm gonna apply it to my cheeks and the prominent parts of my face.
And there you have it, the New Year's glam look that I love so, so much. I wanted to show you slightly different lip looks. So this one's using the matte, matte lipstick in taupe. And then I went ahead with my Tom Ford red lipstick in Nicholas. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. And you can see that the heavy metal eyeliner looks amazing in the light. So happy new year guys. I hope it gave you some inspiration of what to do for your new year's look. Thank you so much for your support so far. This year has been amazing. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the new year.